So I came across this interesting comment on one of the videos and this is from Mr. Padakkam. So I hope Padakkam and more viewers like you who have the same question are watching this particular video. So Padakkam has asked that in a budgeted projector, which projector would you recommend has got a crystal clear picture on the screen and he does not want any pixels to be visible on the screen and wants a 16 is to 9 aspect ratio. Now the things that he asked in this particular comment were so, you know, uh, here and there that I wanted to address this in a video so that we cover up all this thing in a proper manner because just replying on the comment box would not have done enough justice to this particular topic. So hello everyone, my name is Tanmay Mehta, your home theater wale bhaiya from Touchwood Automations and like always in this particular video, I am going to help you with some information which is going to help you take well-informed, wise and correct decisions when it comes to buying anything to everything in the home theatre space. Now, with regards to the Padakkam's question, the first thing that he asked was, in a budgeted projector, which projector can give me a very crystal clear screen? Well, Padakkam, what happens is most of the projectors today which are Full HD or 4K are supposed to give you a very crystal clear picture on the screen but this crystal clear picture is completely based upon two main devices. The first one is your content source. So if the content source is not Full HD or if it's not a 4K signal then you will not get a crystal clear picture on the screen. Similarly, if the output device now in this case your projector if it's not a Full HD or a 4K projector, it is not going to give you a crystal clear picture on the screen. So the very two things that are important to achieve your crystal clear picture on the screen is your content device and the output source. Now with regards to the content device, I know you would say that Amazon 4K Fire TV Stick mentions that it's 4K. So by default I should get a 4K picture but guess what, that is not going to happen because they are going to access this, this 4K content online which means that they are going to rely on your internet connection. Now, if the internet connection is not very powerful or if the Mbps is hardly lesser than 5 or 10, then in that case, you may not get a 4K or a Full HD signal properly and it may have buffering, which will cause you some sort of blurred image or pixelation on the screen. And that is when you will not get real, crystal clear picture on the screen. So make sure that you have a great internet connection you have got a good HD or 4K streaming box and you have got a good HD or a 4K projector to watch on the screen. So with all these things, your first question's answer, I hope I, you have got it. Now we come to the second question which is about the pixels not being visible on the screen. Now pixels on the screen are visible again based upon the content. So if the content is Full HD or 4K, it will not be visible. But for certain content which is by default in a lesser format, you will surely see the pixels on the screen. Now, how does that happen? Let me give you a small example. We all have gone through an era wherein we had 30 inches TV. Then we started getting 55 inches TV. And now we are looking at big giant sizes of 75, 85 or projector screen sizes of 100, 120 inches. Now, a typical 30 inches TV, there was no HD channel. Because even with that small definition or the standard definition content, you could see a decent image on the screen. Now, when the same channel was consumed on a bigger screen, which is 55 inch screen, you started noticing pixelation being happening on the screen or on the TV displays. And that's where the HD channels or we started shifting towards the HD world because the HD content will never do that pixelation. Similarly, when you stretch the same Full HD image onto a 120 inches screen, you will not see any pixelation because by default the content is in good format which supports screen size right from 30 inches and all the way up to 300 inches. So anything in Full HD and 4K, if you are projecting on a screen which is in between 30 inches to 300 inches, you will always see a crystal clear picture on the screen without any pixelation happening and the pixelation will happen only and only if the content is not good. Now we come to the last question which is your aspect ratio that is 16 is to 9. Now the video formats over a period of time have seen various aspect ratios. So earlier we were familiar with this 30 inches square TV boxes. 
then the world started moving towards rectangular TVs. That is nothing but 16 is to 9 ratio and the earlier was 4 is to 3 aspect ratio. So as in how the cameras or the content makers started using equipments which supports different aspect ratio, the output will also be in the same format. For instance, <coughs> right now also with your TV, if you're watching a movie channel, you will see two black bands on the top and bottom. Now they would be small considering your TV size. But as in how your screen size doubles up, these black bands will also increase on the top as well as on the bottom. But the content will remain clear, crystal clear again based upon the HD and 4K content. But the 16 is to 9 aspect ratio is wherein the entire screen gets completely filled in with the content. But that necessarily does not happen even you're watching a content which is not in 16 to 9 format. So most of the content that is getting released today, it's either in 2.35 is to 1 or it's in 2.4 is to 1. Now in this case, what happens is the width of the screen gets completely occupied, but the height is reduced. Now that is cause of the content being in that particular format and you cannot blame your projector or your screen for the same. But when you watch a live news channel or you're watching some sports channel, you will always see that the screen is completely filled because most of the live broadcast cameras or the aspect ratios that they use is 16 is to 9 but most of the movies and shows that are coming today are all coming in 2.35 or 2.4 is to 1 and that's where you will see some black patches on the top and bottom. Now there are few projectors which have got a feature of changing the aspect ratio so you can manually change the aspect ratio from 2.35 is to 1 to 16 is to 9 but when you do that the image gets stretched and when that image gets stretched, you will not see a person with a standard you know, face structure or a body structure. It is going to get elongated. So I generally don't recommend to do that. But yes, there are few projectors who have got this. Most of the projectors do not have it and they have a standard 16 is to 9 aspect ratio. Which means that when the content is 2.35 or 2.4 is to 1, you will see a black patch on the top and bottom. Now I hope that with this particular video, we have addressed questions for Padakam and many more people who have got similar doubts or similar queries in their mind. And if this particular video has helped you, make sure to hit the like button to let YouTube know so that they can inform other people as well. And in the meanwhile, if you feel that this can be of valuable information to your friends or colleagues who are in a position to buy home theater, do share this video with them. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I want to stay connected with you all in ensuring that I can help you buy a great home theater system. That's it from my end guys. I Tanmay Mehta, your home technology consultant or home theater wale bhaiya. We'll see you all in my next video. Thank you.